Music's biggest night, the Grammys, are on Sunday, and our very own Carlos is going to be there in L.A. So on our next episode, we'll have all the inside scoop from behind the scenes and, of course, the after parties. But, Carlos, you sat down with the man behind one of this year's biggest nominees, Cardi B's good friend, Brooklyn Johnny. I did. So Brooklyn Johnny, he's a music exec who just signed a huge deal with RCA. He's 33 years old, and he helped make Cardi B the superstar she is today. Before the break, we saw him talk about Cardi B, the mom, but I also asked him about her five Grammy nominations and what made him realize she was destined to take over the music industry. Check out what he told me. She's a happy person, you know, so being that she's a happy person, it makes it easy to work with her and it makes people gravitate towards her. So she was already working on music when, when we started working with her. We got, you got like a, this movie star, now she just has to have like the perfect script, you know what I'm saying? The perfect script and probably adding a couple co-stars and this thing is gonna be like a blockbuster and that's really what happened. Hey, if I look bad, <laughs> Tell me, how was it? Like, what was it about Cardi B? How, when did you know that she was a star? Like, how did you feel? She works so hard. We recorded the entire album while she was pregnant. Right. You know, it's, it's, she, she's nom privacy. now she's nom not in vision of privacy. Now she's nominated for five Grammys. So it's like, it's a testament of her hard work and, you know, her, yeah. her drive. I read that she was in the studio until the wee hours with culture in her Cra belly. Crazy. Well, I mean, what was that like when you saw that, that fire in her? What was that like? It, make you, it, makes, you, it makes you want to go harder. Yeah. It makes you want to go harder. It makes you... It makes you look at it like, what am I? I can't complain about anything. Mm -hmm. Like, I look at it like, if you could stay here for 48 hours, then I for sure could stay here for 48 hours. Mm -hmm. Kim Kardashian, she's actually being sued for $100 million. We Whoa. spoke to David Liebenson. He is the man who's, who's accusing her. He claims that he, she was gonna promote his censor out app for 40% mm -hmm. of the profits, but then she gave the app to Instagram, cutting him out completely. Oh. And so now he told us that he is suing her for $100 million and he actually called her a bully. He mm -hmm. said, she is a bully, she stole my life's work. No one mm -hmm. should have to go through what I have in the past four and a half years since I met her. Mm -hmm. He also told us that he designed Kim's sexy app, Kimoji, do you guys mm -hmm. remember that And he that said he came app? up with the name. Yeah, he came up with the name Kimoji that uh, she had and he said that Kim stole that also. But we also spoke to Kim lawyer Marty Singer and he said that this is all baloney he said this case should have ended in 2014 when two other partners that he was partnered with signed a settlement agreement the singer says this is a ridiculous absurd claim mm. without merit in fact he said they offered him hundred fifty thousand well, dollars and five percent of future profits okay. to settle the case Gross but he net. turned it down NBA's epic all-star weekend kicks off in just a few days at last year's all-star celeb game Justin Bieber and Migos Frontman Quavo were the standout players, but this year all eyes will be on a different star, Dr. Oz. That's right. Okay, so America's doctor is going to be playing in the NBA for the second time. Now, the last time he was in this game was in 2010, and we all remember that. I mean, look at him there. He's got some moves, right? Look at him on the court. All right, yes. now the rating. Yeah, I know. I, we love Dr. Oz, friend of the show. He looks more comfortable, I think, in his scrubs than, than his <laughs> uniform, but still. But the reigning MVP, Quavo, um, and Dr. Oz are being joined by Amanda Seals, our friend, yes. and Bad Bunny yeah. on the court. Yeah. Yeah. No, I talked to Dr. Oz, and he's excited about this. This is what he told me about it. He said, I'm ecstatic to be invited back to play for the NBA Celebrity All-Star Game. They know I played football in college. He's an athlete. Oh, so I'll assume the NBA wants me to be the on-court enforcer. <laughs> on the other hand, the key to longevity is vigorous daily activity and basketball checks all the boxes so perhaps the NBA cares about my health. That's what Dr. Oz said about it. Go figure. Well, you know what? I'm glad that Dr. Oz is going to be a part of it but I want to give a shout out to my friend Lil Rel. Yeah. He took to Instagram because he's pissed off that he for the second year in a row has not been invited yeah. to the celebrity basketball game. He said that um, he one of the reasons why he took on Uncle Drew the movie was to show love to the NBA to make sure that they would recognize him for this. And he's definitely a big enough star to be a part of this game, so I don't mm -hmm. know why they keep dissing him. He has his own show. If your name's on the show, you can play a basketball game. A celebrity <laughs> basketball game. Come on, guys. All Give right. Lil Rel a shot. <laughs> All right, well, we polled our viewers, and 40% think that Dr. Oz is going to be this year's MVP. <laughs> Bevy uncovered a seat-related Fashion Week scandal that we must talk about because it's Fashion Friday. Yes. Well, today is 
official start of New York Fashion Week, which was created by fashion icon Fern Malice. Carlson and I are friends with her, and we were appalled by this oh, story, weren't we, baby? It was insane. It was when insane. I heard about that. Yes. She was issued a standing room ticket for a runway show. Now, oh. to a mere mortal, they would be just so happy to be a part of it. But this woman actually started New York Fashion Week, yes. so that's why it was a disgrace. She's, uh, she was also the executive director of the CFDA Award for a decade, which is the most important American fashion organization. It's the Oscars there of Fashion. Is. That's right, it's the Oscars mm -hmm. of Fashion. She was also the senior vice president at IMG Models for years, and she interviews luminaries like Alexander Wang, Woo. Cindy Crawford, Iman, and everyone in the business knows her because when she does the 92nd Street mm -hmm. Wide Talks, everyone comes to it and it's a big deal, right? Mm -hmm. She also created Fashion Week, I have to reiterate that. So she belongs in the front row. Of course she does. Right. Now, Fern is a class act, so she would not tell us the name of the designer that snubbed her. Well, you know, we reached out. We actually, we heard, our sources told us that it was menswear designer Nihil, oh. and they did not get back to us to, uh, to, bear, to, to confirm See, that it's Fern is a class there. act, but Carlos. <laughs> That's right. Just He'll go saying. for it. That's right. Sources and spies, baby. Get to the bottom of the story. Yeah, there you go, baby. So Fern told us she laughed when she saw the assignment, but said it's a very important for PR people to know who's in the audience. Some people can be oblivious. This is something people can learn from. Look at her giving us a teachable moment. Yeah, I love that she, that is so shady, but in the classiest way, because she didn't say anything mean, but she said, you can learn from this. Shout out to my girlfriend, Alice. It.